At Christmas time in the Holy Land, if you dig in the right place, you might just find Jesus' footsteps right below the surface. When they first dug here, they planned to unearth a new hotel site. Instead, they unearthed what could be the world's first church. I was like, whoa, I can be part of something uh, uh, of history. Volunteers have come from all over the world to work here, Bible country, where Jesus is said to have inspired his first followers, where he's said to have healed the sick, where he may have even walked on the water. And on the shores of the Sea of Galilee, they discovered where Jesus might have first preached. Jesus comes precisely to this place. This community is it's one community. And they're not divided into different communities. And actually, it's not even divided from the Jewish people. What does it tell us, 20 centuries later, that we have so much in common? For years, Father Eamon Kelly didn't know the site's significance. Nicholas, we're walking on a first century street. At first, they were pleased to simply discover a first century marketplace for the local fishermen. Fish from Magdala was sold in the markets in Rome. Then they were shocked to discover Jewish ritual bass, the best kept in Israel. There are six categories of water for ritual purification, and this is the best level. It's the purest yeah, water. Pure. You can see the steps here. It's really beautiful. But then a few feet away, just a few inches below the soil, they found this design. It's an unending pattern. It has that significance of eternal life. Then these mosaics. For us, they're very special. <laughs> they're first century. The fact of having a mosaic in the first century synagogue was unheard of until this discovery. Then these benches for the faithful. Oh, you could imagine him sitting here in the center of this inner step or over here by this pillar. Why not? And then... Wow. This was here for 2,000 years, nobody knew about it. And I think this blue actually was the first time they found in the country uh, here. And this is contemporary to Pompeii. They realized this was one of the oldest synagogues. On one stone, the oldest menorah ever discovered in a religious structure. Another still had grooves for a Torah. On the sides of the stone that the teacher, the rabbi, is opening up his scroll and he's rolling out the spools here. So then so it fits right into it the fits, it's, And it's held in place. And that rabbi that Father Kelly is talking about? There's a group of people following Rabbi Jesus. Obviously, you could say that this is the beginning. Archaeology in Israel. The be beginning where every road and every step is historic. Jesus walked inside this world. Jesus come here, meet the people here in the synagogue, in the market. Palestinian archaeologist Arfan Najar may be Muslim but he feels Jesus' presence as much as anyone. This excavation changed the history. Nobody imagined that we will have here clear, clear city from the first century. What Jesus, she, what, what he touched. And the coins he used. They reveal when the synagogue was built, A.D. 29. I take the all together, the coin and the, the pottery, and I put that in, in together, I, I see the history. Mosaic copies will soon fill a museum, and the church is hoping to attract tourists like Deanna and Mattia. The one-year-old might have no idea what he's looking at, but his 29-year-old mother hopes the site fills him with faith, as it does for her. I think like in the West, you know, people are always like, you know, is, it, is the Bible real, is it not? But in here, it's like, I feel it's like undeniable. I think uh, everyone that's like, you know, questioning like the Word of God should come here and then I think you can't go home an atheist. <laughs> the site isn't only about Jesus. It's actually dedicated to the women described in Jesus' life. Because archaeologists say this is Magdala, where Mary Magdalene was born. The church hopes to use it to restore her reputation. Jesus apostles her. He makes her an apostle. So she's the first apostle. And she wasn't the only woman supporting Jesus. In a newly built spiritual center is what Father Kelly admits is a rare church tribute to women. Here we're in the atrium of the women of the New Testament, and here in this column we represent Susanna and Johanna, the wife of Chusa, who married Cleophas, Salome, the mother of the sons of Zebedee. This one column that doesn't have any name, and this is for all the women who throughout history also have been pillars in the transmission of the faith. And next door, with the Sea of Galilee in the background, the yet-to-be-used chapel. As it was for the first Christians, 
the faithful will pray on the seashore. And as it was for the disciples, a mast will be their cross. Nick Schifrin, Al Jazeera, Magdala.